A moment ago, they were down by 17 at 59-42. And they scored four straight points. Kobe bricks the free throw, but gets his own rebound. Kwame, rather. Kobe for three. Well, you did not give up those missed free throws. Give up rebounds to miss free throws when uh, you have the inside position and it came back to haunt him. Seven points in about 40 seconds for Los Angeles to cut it to 10. Two second difference between game and shot clocks. Arenas penetrates, knocked away and stolen. That's good if it goes. And it does not. So the Wizards had a 17-point lead, and they saw that slip away with seven quick points by Kobe. Gilbert with 17 points in the half. Kobe with 16, 14 of them in the second quarter. So at the break, the Wizards lead the Lakers in the first of two meetings between the two this season, 59-49. And we send you back to our Comcast Sportsnet studios in Bethesda and join Russ Thaler. good first half of basketball especially for Washington who with 50 seconds to play in the half had a 17 point lead and just like that in 50 seconds the Lakers scored seven to cut it to ten that's where we are at the break again Los Angeles a couple of nights ago coming back from 17 down at the half to Houston and winning that game here in double overtime Gilbert Arenas and Antoine Jamison, 17 points each for Washington. Butler and Daniels with five, and Haywood with four points and five rebounds. A good first half for Brendan. Jamison, by the way, has eight rebounds in the half. And the Lakers are led by Kobe with 16. Rodmanovic has a season high 15. Previous season high was 11. His career high is 30. Walton has eight, Parker four, and Kwame has three. Again, I thought Washington's defense was very solid in that first half. Let's see if they can pick it up and do the same thing. The Lakers have been a very strong third quarter team. Wizards shot 51% in the first half. Made 12 of 15 free throws. And hit five three-pointers in the half. The Lakers went 6 of 14 from long range. the uh, actress from Grey's Anatomy, I believe, Phil. I think you're right. Ellen, help me on this. Ellen, that's her name. Ellen Pompadour. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> there they are, Phil, of all those stats. Well, again, Washington shooting over 50%. That's a good number. Their opponents, 44%. Both teams are about equal in three-point shots. Washington doing a good job from the line, 12 of 15. The Lakers, 14 assists. Remember, they're fifth in the league in that department. Points in the paint, Washington has a huge advantage. And Washington's bench, 12 to 3 advantage. So good production off the bench, particularly in that first quarter when Eddie Jordan was able to rest some of his starters. Uh, now again, this is a, a Laker team that over the last five or six games has been very strong mm. in the third quarter. So it's imperative that Washington comes out with the same type of intensity and aggressiveness that they played throughout most of that first half. They're outscoring their opponents in the third quarter about 31 to 19 in that period. Yeah, well, there's the stat right there uh, over the last five games. Their opponents uh, averaging under 20. They've been averaging 31 points. So Washington, uh, and, and that's kind of a trait with Phil, Phil Jackson teams. Uh, he really has his team come out. You know, they did that in Chicago with Jordan and Pippen. Uh, they would come out and really try and put people away early in the third. 
So the second half begins. It's Stevenson with Arenas, Butler, Haywood, and Antoine Jamison for the Wizards, who lead the Lakers by 10. Gilbert. And a foul on Smush Parker. Smush just had to fight through a huge pick set by Brendan Haywood, and I like the idea. I mean, so many times our guards have to fight through picks. Let's make these other guards work a little hard and they have to fight through some picks, too. Here's Jamison. Thought about it. Now he gets in for the running jumper. No good. Haywood tips it, and a loose ball foul is called on Washington, and I believe it's on Brendan Haywood. Or is it Karan Butler? I think it's Karan Butler. I think Brendan did a good job, but again, going up top for that uh, rebound, but it was Butler on the outside that got the contact. His first personal foul with 11 and a half to go underway here in the third. Steve Buckhats with Phil Chenier. Push for the jumper. No good, and Haywood's there for his sixth rebound. Wizards led by 17 with 50 seconds to play in the half. Jamison shoots, and this is off the right. Haywood is there, and he'll pull it out. Knocked out of bounds by Walton. Careful. Brennan has been very solid uh, with his rebound. And offensive rebounds against Miami the other night. He had uh, five offensive rebounds there, but he's been very active on the offensive glass. Stevenson guarded by Kobe. Put his hand in his face, made some contact, and Stevenson looks yeah, over towards know. Jason Phillips and says, hey, the guy hit me in the face. Well, I'm saying the face guard, but you can't poke him in the eyes. Now, <laughs> and, and I would think that if you put your hand in someone's face and make any contact at all, you got to call a foul. Because, you know, to begin with, you're trying to disconcert the player. Here's Kobe. Now he double pumps and gets a block of bounce. 18 for Kobe. Washington by 10. Back to Stevenson. He'll fire the jumper and hit it. Two in a row for Deshaun Stevenson again. He says somebody was in my face. No, that's that's the thing he does after he oh, makes his jump shot, remember? Okay. I got it. <laughs> no, you're right. You gotta ask him what that means. Well, Kwame hustled after the loose ball and got it. And that's second chance points. That should not happen. Yeah. And that's Kwame, I mean, excuse me, Kobe's four threes. He was three for three for three-point range in the first half, so he's perfect from that long range. Right, what a shame. Gilbert. Wizards lead down to nine. Stevenson fires underneath for Haywood, and that's the steal. And the Wizards get it right back. Stevenson ahead of Parker. Nails him. Stevenson has some words for Parker. You gotta realize that he's gonna try not to let you get uh, a free throw up and certainly doesn't want you to get it up and then possibly convert the free throw. Then something must have been said. It looked like what well, looked like it. From the demeanor on Stevenson's face, he understood right. the foul. Right. But it was something maybe said after that. It looked like they were exchanging kindship and then some words foul broke out. Yeah. <laughs> Stevenson now 0 for 2 from the free throw line, 4 of 5 from the field. area coming into this season uh, that we knew he had to improve on. He was shooting under 70% from the free, free throw line, but this year shooting over 80%, so much improved. Yeah, he had only missed uh, seven shots in 45 attempts. Bobby nearly double dribbled for Kobe for a long three. Good. Five of five. Now Deshaun is not going to be able to have the luxury of coming off of Kobe Bryant. He's going to have to stay in playing honest. Butler's jumper too strong. He went up over the top. Lost out of bounds by the Lakers. Oh, they're going to give it to Washington. Well, it looked like Rodmanovich was the last to touch it. I think they're calling a foul on Haywood. 
They are. They called a loose ball foul on Brendan Haywood, his third personal. Well, let's see if he made contact. He was coming over the back, but if he doesn't make contact on the back, like that was uh, all ball up above Rodmanovic. Sean Stevenson whistled for a foul. Personal on Deshaun. Kobe with Stevenson. Parker given the three and he misses. I spent a lot of time thinking about that shot. He was two for ten from the outside in the first half, so he's probably not feeling real confident. Gilbert backs up. That's going to be short. Haywood is up high for the rebound for Arenas underneath. Double pump and gets it to go. Another offensive rebound for Brendan. Saves the possession and leads to that two by Arenas. Eighth rebound of the game for Haywood. The, the other end, Rodmanovic with an easy layup. It's the least bit of lack of concentration. You can find yourself giving up free baskets. Now this team can score them in a hurry. Jamison over Rodmanovich gets a three. Antoine Jamison. And uh, Danny Crawford looks at Kwame and says, Tuck in your shirt, big fella. 20 points in the game for Antoine Jamison. Leads the Wizards in scoring. Gilbert has 19. Kobe again for three. Oh my. We've seen this too many times before. Remember that game that yeah. uh, he scored 55? That's his season, uh, his career high against the Washington franchise. But he was shooting threes like they were going out of style. A couple of them were well behind. He, he's got 27 now. Jamison, some body, no call. Well, inside, and he misses. Jameson is really livid with the officials. He got nothing on either end. Gilbert around Parker, the jumper. Missed it. Tip to Stevenson. He pulls the trigger and hits. Deshaun is five of six from the field, has 11 points. Tight on Kobe. And Kobe's made his first six threes. Parker off the glass. Six points for Smush. He's three of 13 from the field. Jameson for the three. Off the side, Haywood. And the rebound and a foul on Stevenson. That's his third personal. And a timeout on the floor. Now the Wizards' 17 point lead has been cut to seven a couple of times here in the third quarter. And right now, with 6 10 to play, Kobe Bryant with 11 points in the period, 27 for the game. One of the greatest players of all time. He began as Lou Alcindor. He became Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. And after that, set some big numbers. He's the all-time leading scorer in the NBA with 38,387 points. Six-time league MVP, six-time champ, Hall of Fame in 1995. Yeah, and, and you know, Something not mentioned there is how, how well he took care of himself. I mean, he played, what was it, 20, 21 years in the league and probably could have played a few more years after that. There they have his number retired up there with uh, Magic Johnson, Jerry West, Elgin Baylor, uh, James Worthy. Who else did I forget? Um, how about Gail Goodrich? Is he up there? He should be. Will Chamberlain. Don't forget Will. The Wizards lead is seven, and they get the steal. Butler, and he got fouled by Walton. 
Last season, the Lakers went 45 and 37. They finished third in the Pacific Division, seventh in the Western Conference. They got back 